Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm gonna try this Blounce. I don't know if that's how you say it. That's what it looks like. Blounce Family Kitchen since 1880. That's pretty cool. This one is the macaroni and beef in a tomato sauce. It's classic comfort food with ground beef, elbow macaroni, and a chunky tomato sauce. Some call it American chop suey. Some call it goulash. We call it delicious. Um, quick and easy, ready in three minutes. Microwaveable, that's cool. Keep refrigerated, so this is not in the frozen section. This is in the refrigerated section. Um, it's 12 ounces or 340 grams. Um, 25 grams of protein per serving. It, um, we bought this at Meyer. It was $5.99, so... Almost, it's six dollars basically. It's just, just to be honest. Uh, one container is 470 calories, so 470 calories for the bowl, and it's six dollars. I don't know, we'll see. So, there's the other information if you want it. Um, hopefully, you can see that. I think you can. There's the ingredients. So, directions uh, let's see. You can do it in the stove top if you want to. Basically, you're just going to put it all on the stove and in a pan and heat it up. Uh, microwave, we're going to remove the film. Place the bowl on a microwave safe plate, cover loosely, so just lay a paper towel on it. Um, heat on high for two to three minutes, times will vary. I'll probably go ahead and do three, um, since that's such a wide, I'll, I'll do three. Um, until it's hot or 165 degrees, stir halfway through. So that means I'm gonna do one and a half and then one and a half. Let stand for one minute in the microwave, carefully removed by the plate. Um, caution product container will be very hot. So let's see what it looks like. Let me turn this down. Yeah. All right, there it is. Um, I'm supposed to take this off. I wonder why I couldn't just because well, it's not coming off easily. That's why. I wonder if since I'm supposed to cover it loosely anyway, why not just do this? There we go. I covered it loosely. Of course, this might melt and lay in the bottom of that. Anyway, we'll try it out. Um, so I'm gonna get this in the microwave and I'll be back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. Um, I ended up putting a paper towel over the top of it because I didn't trust, it didn't say to use, um, hey, it's green on the bottom. Um, it didn't say to use the uh, plastic as just, uh, it didn't say to vent it or something. So I was worried about it melting in there. So if it wasn't made to be microwaved, it may have melted and just made a plastic puddle in here. So I didn't trust it, so I just put a paper towel over top. It worked fine. Um, also did it for a minute and a half. I stirred it up. It was already starting to get hot, um, even after a minute and a half. So I did it just another minute. So my total time was two and a half minutes um, altogether. So, um, so yeah, I think it's ready. I'm going to take it over to the table, and um, we'll try it out. All right, so I didn't let it cool off very long. Um, I noticed that it's got something written on the bottom, and so I looked at the bottom to see if there's anything on there. It's white. You can't see through it. So, so I kind of moved it around. All I saw was, um, now that was wicked and I can't, I couldn't see the rest because I, I don't have, there's too much food in here to move around. So I'm, I'm interested to see what it's going to say. When you clean your bowl, it's kind of like seeing, um, you know, for little kids seeing cartoon characters at the bottom of their cereal bowl, you know, something like that. So this one says something at the bottom when you eat it all. I think that's funny. Just a re little reward for finishing your food. Um, I like the pasta. The pasta is, I like my pasta a little firm anyway, and this is a firmer pasta, so I like that. It's, it's got some, um, some texture to it. It's got some chew to it. It's not mushy or pasty. It's, it's got a really good texture to it. I really like that. Um, the ground beef in here, most of it is pretty decent pieces, so you actually chew it. There are some fine, very, very tiny little pieces, almost sand size, but for the most part, it's, it's ground kind of a rough grind, which I like a little bit better than the really finely ground. The seasonings in here are not what I'd call like really strong seasonings. So when I first opened it up, I thought it kind of smelled like chili. Like it had a little bit of a chili kind of smell, but I think I was getting mostly just the tomato sauce and the ground beef. Really, it doesn't taste anything like chili. It may not, it probably doesn't even have chili sauce or chili powder in there. It might a little bit, but if it does, it's a very small amount. So seasoning wise, it's on the lighter side. It's literally just pasta, tomato sauce, ground beef. Um, and like I said, they've got some seasoning in there. I'm sure there's some onion powder and garlic powder and all that good stuff in there. Um, I'm just looking really quick. Yeah, garlic, garlic powder, onion powder salt natural flavors um and spices that's all it says so um 
for me, it needs to be spiced up just a little bit more, even if it had a little more garlic and onion kind of flavor. Maybe they needed to add some more onion, like regular onion. I don't think this actually says it has onion in there. Yeah, just a chunky tomato sauce. Um, I think if they added some chunked onions in there, um, it would have elevated that flavor a lot more. As it is, it's really good. Don't get me wrong, I do like it. It just tends, it's just a little, it's a little plain. And my only other complaint is that is those hamburger pieces, the really fine ground hamburger pieces. Some people love that kind of hamburger. For me, I like mine a little chunkier. Most of this is that really finely ground. Um, Skyline Chili is a perfect example of, of another one that uses that really finely ground uh, meat. It's so fine, it's almost like I said, the size of a piece of sand. That's kind of what the texture of this is like. So the pasta is really, really good. When you get the bigger hunks of ground beef, it's really good. But when you get the really fine piece of ground beef, to me, it's just kind of, I don't know, it's just off-putting a little bit. So overall, I like it. I'm gonna give it like a three and a half. Um, if it wasn't for the really fine hamburger and the lack of like seasonings, um, I probably would have given it more of like a four and a half. But those two things are gonna knock it down a point. So I'm gonna give it a three and a half. Try it out on your own if you like a macaroni beef meal. Um, I think you could put some hot sauce in there, some nature seasoning, some garlic powder, onion powder. Um, you can add some of that stuff in your on your own, and um, I think you'd be happy. Um, it has, um, I think it has, does it have cheese in there? No, it doesn't say cheese. I get a little bit of a cheese flavor, but I don't think, if there's any in there, it's not very much. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I can tell you what the bottom says. It says, now that was wicked good. That's what it says on the bottom. So if you, I moved it out of the way. Um, so once you finish your bowl, you get a little prize saying, now that was wicked good. <laughs> anyway, see you later.